everyone, it's Simply Duck Designs here, and today, oh my gosh, I am back with a tutorial. I know that you guys really like seeing tutorials from me, and I'm not really sure why, because I don't really feel that I'm the best at tutorials, but I do the best I can, so I feel that every few months I owe you guys a tutorial, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a wallet. Now that I think about it, I think I've only made like two wallet tutorials, not very many at all. But now this will make three, and I'm going to show you guys how to make a women's wallet clutch, but this is going to hold tons of cards. This wallet is going to hold 14 cards, and that's just if you put like a single card in each pocket. It can honestly hold multiple cards in each one, and it also will have two bill folds. So if you're a card hoarder, this tutorial is going to be pretty perfect for you. But anyway, let's get on with the supplies. You're going to need scissors, a ruler, an X-Acto knife, one to two colors of duct tape, clear tape and silver tape, along with Velcro, possibly some ID plastic if you want, a card, and a cutting mat. So let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our solid color right here, and what we're going to do is we're going to make a sheet of duct tape that is seven inches long. And we're going to take another piece of duct tape and we're going to make that three and three fourths inches tall. Now we're going to take some clear tape and that is going to be seven inches long as well. And I'm just cutting a random thin strip. It really doesn't matter how long it is or how wide it is, I mean. And we're just going to lay that on this seam right here. And we're going to lightly press it down. Then we're going to take one of our cards and we're just going to smooth out the tape and make sure there aren't any air bubbles. If there are some air bubbles, it's okay. They're not going to really be seen anyway. This is just to make your wallet last longer and it won't get so gunky. Okay, so now we're going to peel this up. And we're going to take our pattern here. And you're just going to cover all the sticky. like so and now we're going to take that piece of clear tape that we have now we're going to do the exact same thing to this outside part this is optional if you don't have clear tape you don't have to do this it just helps make your wallet last longer so now that you have that you're going to make a second one and these will be our billfold okay so now it's time to make the card pockets i will show you how to make one of them just in case you don't know and then i will make the rest and be right back so so what we're doing here is cutting out a piece of tape that is three and three fourths inches long. And then we're just flipping it over. And for this part, this is whatever you like to do. For covering the back of the card pockets, you could use your solid color, you could use clear tape, but in this case, I'm going to be using the gray tape just to save on my pattern. But like I said, you can use whatever you want. So I'm just gonna cover the back of this like so. Just flipping that over and I'm going to cut this off. And you should have a card pocket. Real quick, I'm going to show you guys how to add trim to your card pockets. You're going to cut out a piece of your colored tape the same length as your card pocket. I'm sticking a little bit of scrap tape that I have at the bottom just to keep it in place while I'm trying to do the trim. And I'm just going to line it up with a fourth of an inch and I'm just laying that right there, smoothing that down, and now I'm just gonna cut some of this excess off. Take this away, because we don't need that anymore. Flip that up and fold this over. And you can cut down this excess on the back if you want. And now the last step is getting your clear tape, and I'm just going to clear tape the trim. You don't have to do this either, it's just all in what you like. Once again, it just helps make your wallet last longer. Anything that I'm clear taping is just to help make this wallet last longer and make it more durable. So I'm just gonna lightly smooth that down. Now you're gonna smooth out the air bubbles like so. Cut away this extra clear tape. Cut this down. Flip this over and fold it over. Like so. And you can also smooth this out with your card, but it doesn't need to be perfect. Just enough to stick it down well. And that's how you make your card pockets. Now I'm going to have seven card pockets on each billfold, so I already pre-made those. 
So here I have all of my card pockets already made. So you're going to need a total of 14 card pockets, so make those now. Okay, so now what I've done here is I've just placed one card pocket onto the billfold part. And you're going to take a piece of clear tape that is as long as your card pocket, so three and three-fourths inches long. And we're just going to start placing this onto our billfold right here. Like so, and you're going to want to do that with all seven of your card pockets. Okay, so now you guys should have something like this, and we're going to do the same thing with our other panel here, but we're going to also cut out pieces of clear tape, same length as your card pockets, and we're going to stick that where the sticky is. So I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so all I do is I take a piece of clear tape and I just stick that right down where the sticky is and then your sticky will be covered in your card pocket. So you want to do that to all of these. Okay, so now what I've done is I just took these random pieces of duct tape just to stick down all the card pockets because once you cover up the sticky in the bottom of them, they will pop up. So I'm just holding them in place with these pieces of tape. But I am going to take a roll of tape and just place it on there to keep them down even more because now we're going to seal up the edges of our card pockets. This is just going to round off the billfold and keep them sealed in. So I'm just taking my pattern tape, like so, and just covering them up like that. And you can kind of see what it's going to look like. And then you're going to leave some sticky at the top because you're going to fold that into the billfold. So like this and peel that up. And we're just going to fold this over. Like so. And now you can take off these little pieces of tape as well. And now we're going to do all those steps once more to our other sheet of tape. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we're going to work on the outside of our wallet. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take our inside color and we're going to cut out a strip of tape that is 11 inches long and we're going to build that up to be 7 inches tall. So now you should have something like this, and what you're going to do now is, if you want, you can take your clear tape again and just cut strips to clear tape all of these seams. That's what I'm going to do. So now we're going to take our pattern here, and we're just going to cover this whole thing, but we're going to leave some sticky around the edges. I recommend leaving at least a half inch of sticky all around here, because you can always cut it down later to your desired length. Okay, so I left a lot more than a half inch around all of this, but that's just because I'm afraid of ruining my craft. It's just something that I've always been afraid of. So don't follow me and leave a gigantic amount unless you are terrified of not having enough to fold over like I am. Next, you can clear tape these seams on the outside, but you can also do that afterwards. So if you don't want to, you don't have to do that right now. But right now I'm going to cut these down to my desired length. Okay, so now that you've done that, you want to cut boxes in the corners of your sticky. Okay, so right now I'm going to take one of our billfolds right here. I'm just going to place that right at the bottom and fold this upward. like so and now you want to cover the sticky in the bottom part right here okay so now that you've covered up the sticky i just use some clear tape to cover this one up you're going to take your other panel right here and just set something on top of it just to make sure that it stays in place while you're doing this we're going to take our pattern color again and just do what we did to this side over here except we're not going to fold in the sticky 
we're going to take our ruler and just cut off the access. I'm just leaving enough that I can stick this onto my wallet. And now I'm just going to stick that across from my other billfold. And you just want to leave in as much space as you want, basically. So I'm just going to stick that down. You just want a little bit of spacing so you can actually get into these and they're not like blocking each other. So you want to cover up the sticky in this billfold as well. So now that we've done that, we're just going to work on sealing all of this up. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut a slit right here where this billfold ends or begins. And I'm just going to fold that upward. This is just attaching our wallet together. And I'm going to cut a separate slit right here and just fold that up right into the middle here, like so. I'm going to fold this part up, and I'm just going to flip it over and do the same thing. like so. And the last thing I'm going to do is fold up this part right here. And you should have your wallet. Now what you're going to do is cut slits in your card pockets and if you don't know what that means I will show you real quick. All you have to do is go like this to the top of your card pocket. Don't cut into the card pocket, just the tape that's holding it down. So you're going to need to do that to every single one of these. Once you're finished that, you're going to need some Velcro. And just fold this up the way you would, like so. And just put some Velcro on each end. And then just fold that down. Press down your Velcro and your wallet should be done. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and that your wallet turned out well. If it did, definitely give this video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. It definitely motivates me to make more. I would love if we could get this video to 80 likes. That would make my day. And don't forget to send me your pictures on Instagram and Twitter using the hashtag SimplyDuckDesigns. I definitely want to see how your wallet turned out. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye everyone! Pocket. And then on this side, it's the exact same thing. And then in the middle, there is a coin pouch, and it's all clear taped on the inside.